What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Dominic Rich and I'm back with another transfer video, 25 more forthcoming transfers that will happen this summer. With all the contracts are expired, when the transfer window officially opens, these transfers will be made official because all the deals have been finalized. So I'm going to get into 25 more because I already gave you 25. So I'm going to link that video in the end card so you could go check it out when you're done watching this one. And at the end of this video, I have a golden nugget for you. So stick around. So guys, the first player I want to talk about is Alvaro Morata. You guys know who Alvaro Morata is, right? He is a 27-year-old Spanish striker. He moved from Chelsea to Atletico Madrid for 56 million euros. I bet you didn't know that. I, I bet you thought that Alvaro Morata had already moved to Atletico Madrid from Chelsea. No, he was there alone and his deal is official now. He is no longer a Chelsea player and that's more money for Chelsea, guys. Remember, they were banned from doing transfers now they have 56 more million, not dollars, euros in the kitty. So expect them to make some big signings this summer transfer window. So good luck to Alvaro Morata. He's been better at Atletico Madrid than he was at Chelsea. That was a horrific spell for the Blues. And we might not see him in the Premier League ever again. So he's back in La Liga playing for Atletico Madrid. He's a former Real Madrid player, so... That's quite interesting, right? He joins the group of players who played for both Atletico and Real Madrid. So, let us move on. And if you know of another player who played for both Atletico and Real Madrid, let me know in the comment section down below. Let us move on. Second player on the list, Nicolo Barella. He is a 23-year-old Italian central midfielder. He moves from Cagliari to Inter Milan for 25 million euros. He was on loan at Inter for a 12 million euro fee. And he's a highly rated central midfielder. He is touted to be the next big thing in Italy. Maybe he'll end up at Juventus eventually. I'm, I'm really surprised that he went to Inter too. So good luck to Nicolo Borello. Bar Barella, not Borello. Nicolo Borella. He is an Italian international, and we will be seeing a lot of him in the future. Third player, another Italian, Simone Verdi. He is moving from Napoli to Torino for 20 million euros. He's a 27-year-old Italian right winger, and he was on loan at Torino. Guys, we are going to see a lot of these deals happening. We are going to be seeing a lot of loan deals being made permanent, a lot of swap deals, a lot of cut price deals. It's going to be a mess this summer transfer window, guys. So, brace yourselves. Should I brace myself right now? Should, should I? Oh, my God. It's going, to be, it's going to be lit this summer. The fourth player, another Italian transfer, Robert Inglese, moving from Napoli to Parma for 18 million euros. He's a 28-year-old Italian striker. He was on loan at Parma. See what I'm talking about, guys? So, there goes another one. And here's another one, too. Number five, Helder Costa, 26-year-old Portuguese right winger. He is moving from Wolves to Leeds for 17.7 .7 million euros. He was on loan at Leeds. I think the reason why he is not going back to Wolves is because they, they are overloaded in the positions. Maybe not in the right wing position, but in the left wing position. But they have guys like Ivan Cavallero and Helder Costa moving on from Wolves. Maybe they don't get along too well with Nuno Espirito Santo. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But Wolves have a very good recruitment system. And they have since brought in guys like, um, what's his name there? Daniel Podence, who's a jack-in-the-box, live-wire type of player. Similar to Helder Costa. And they have brought in guys like Pedro Neto as well, so they'll be good. They'll be good. Number six on the list, Paul Lirola, moving from Sassuolo to Fiorentina for 11 million euros. He's a 22 year old Spanish right back, was alone at Fiorentina, and he impressed. He is a Spain 21. He's a well, he's a former Spain 
under 21 player and he is a former Juventus player as well. So look out for the name Paul Lirola, highly rated 23 year old Spanish right back. Let us move on to a very interesting one. Number seven, Alexander Nubel moving from Schalke to Bayern Munich on a free. This deal was finalized in a January transfer window, but it will be made official this summer. He is a 23-year-old German goalkeeper. And this is a very curious case because he was a club captain at Schalke under David Wagner. Schalke was doing so well in the first half of the season, but in the rock runner, they have been terrible. They have yet to pick up a win in their last 11 games. And Alexander Nubel has been outcasted from the team. He has not been the number one keeper. The number one keeper is currently, I think his name is Marcus Schubert. And he hasn't been doing the best jobs in goal. So, Alexander Nubel, you let the Schalke fans down just to move on to Bayern Munich. Shame on you. Seriously. Shame. That's how I truly feel. Number eight, Jan Caramo. He's moving from Inter to Parma for 8 million euros. He is a 21-year-old Ivorian striker. Well, he was born in Ivory Coast, but he plays for the French on the 21 national team. And he was on loan at Parma. So he has to decide on whether he wants to play for the Ivory Coast or France. I think he should choose the Ivory Coast because it's going to be tough breaking into the French national team there. So we're going to move on to the ninth player and he's another Italian and he is a 30 year old Italian center back Lorenzo Tonelli he is moving from Napoli to Sampdoria for 2.5 million euros and he joined them on loan in January so they're deciding to keep him for the new and upcoming season number 10 a very interesting one Sven Coombs 32 year old Belgian CDM he's moving from Anderlecht back to Ghent for 1.5 million euros. He was on loan at Ghent. Remember a few seasons ago when I think Ghent made their, not Genk, but Ghent made their debut in the Champions League. Sven Coombs was the captain of that team. He was one of their main men. And then he moved to Anderlecht, his boyhood club, and he's moving back. So that one is a very interesting one. He's also a Belgian international too. Number 11. Another good one, guys. Another good one. I bet you weren't expecting these. I, I bet you were, you know, you were expecting some big names and stuff. Guys, I'm giving you all the golden nuggets here. Remember, I'm all about golden nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Jermaine Defoe, Bournemouth, to Rangers on a free. He's a 37-year-old English striker, was on loan at Rangers, and his contract expired, he decided to stay on with Steven Gerrard. Maybe he'll eventually become his assistant coach. So, Jermaine Defoe has been to many clubs, many, many clubs, and he has been very successful throughout his career. So, good luck. Good luck, Jermaine. Number 12. I'm running through these, guys. I'm running through these. Number 12, Matteo Stopper. A stopper. And he is not a goalkeeper. He's a 19-year-old Italian striker. He's moving from Juventus under 19 to Sampdoria for 1 million euros. So Juventus getting rid of some youth players there. I never like to see that, but it is what it is. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Maybe Stopper never had a future at Juventus. So they stopped it right there and sent him to Sampdoria. Next up, we have Lena Grill. He is moving from Kaiserslautern to Bayer Leverkusen for an undisclosed fee. And he's a 21-year-old German goalkeeper. He represented the German on the 21 national team as well. So, has to be good. Has to be good. From Kaiserslautern? Imagine that. That's a second division team or third division right now. I'm not sure. I think they're third division, if I'm not mistaken. But... Maybe that'll prove to be a good signing for Bayer Leverkusen, you know what I mean? Backup goalkeepers are always good. 14, Paul Georges and Tap. This one is a very, very curious case as well, guys, because this, this guy was a wonder kid a few seasons ago. I could remember him from FIFA 16 when he was always popping up on my radar when, when I set out the scouts. And he, he his career has been a weird one. So, he moved from being a free agent to Gangam. I think they're currently in the second division. And he's a former French international, now plays for Cameroon. 
He's a 27-year-old left winger and he he appeared for France twice under Didier Deschamps, I think back in 2015. And he now plays for Cameroon because he was not, you know, captied. He never played in a... He only played in friendlies, nothing competitive for France. Imagine that, guys. He played for France in 2015. That is sick. And he now plays for Cameroon. Man, he plummeted. He really, really plummeted to unforeseen lows because he was without a club. Maybe he's a bad boy. He's formerly of Auxerre. He was at Auxerre when he made the French national team. And he used to play for Wolfsburg in the German Bundesliga. So maybe he is a bad boy, you know what I mean? And you don't get along too well <laughs> when he's at the club. So they, they ask him. But he now has a club and that's good for him. 27 years old, he should take this opportunity and use it wisely. Number 15, guys, Florentin Pogba, Paul Pogba's brother. The twin brother of Matthias Pogba. He was a free agent and he now joined the French club Socha. So he's a 29-year-old Guinean center back. Yeah, he plays for Guinea, not France. And he last played for Atlanta United in the MLS. He only lasted a year there. So all the best to Florentin Pogba. You know what I mean? Number 16, Claudio Pizarro from Werder Ver Bremen. He will retire at the end of the season. He is currently injured though. And he is a 41-year-old Peruvian striker. He's a legend. A lot of you guys may know of Claudio Pizarro or maybe you don't. But this is a big deal. He's a legend. He's a legend. He moved from Alianza Lima in 1999 to Werder Bremen. And it's, it's good that he's going to retire from Werder Bremen. But... I would have preferred to see him actually retire at Alianza Lima. He should have gone back to Alianza Lima in Peru and retired there. Even if he played one season for the club, you know, it would have been very, very romantic to do that. He won six Bundesliga titles with Bayern Munich, six cup titles as well, and he won the Champions League with Bayern Munich as well. He won things at Chelsea and he won things with I think with Cohn. No, he won I think he won a cup with Werder Bremen, but he was once a Cologne player. But all the best, happy retirement to Claudio Pizarro. We have another retirement here and it's out at Aruiz, the thirty nine year old Spanish striker. I think he racked up about twelve caps for Spain and he will now leave Athletic Club Bilbao in La Liga to go into retirement he played for the club from 2012 to 2020 he scored 158 la liga goals i think he played around 400 or something matches but he was pretty pretty damn good for his age though you know what i mean he was playing for the spanish national team up until last year so that is good stuff man very very good stuff and i wish him happy retirement as well next up guys we have another retiree and that's Jelson Fernandez who I did mention at the end of that last video I made talking about the 25 forthcoming transfers and he will retire from Eintracht Frankfurt of whom he joined in 2017 he's a 33 year old Swiss CDM and he once played for Manchester City and Leicester City so that's some um, golden nuggets for you guys right there so all the best Jelson Fernandez happy retirement number 19 guys David Silva Man City to an unknown club maybe Valencia in Spain the club that he moved from back in 2010 when he joined Manchester City he's a 34 year old central attacking midfielder from Spain and he has been a Manchester City legend four league titles many EFL cups FA Cups, Community Shields, but yet to win the Champions League with City. Maybe this is his year. I, I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe this is his year. But we are seeing the last of David Silva in the Premier League for sure, for sure, for sure. He was a World Cup winner in 2010, Euro winner in 2008 and 2012. And... The man has just been amazing, man. Just been amazing and been a great servant for Manchester City 
So all the best wherever you move on to David Silva, whether he's going to move to Inter Miami in the MLS, whether he's going to move to Japan, because he does have Japanese heritage, maybe Kobe Vissel, like a lot of, um, you see Iniesta move in there, you see Podolski move in there, among the, the few former great players who moved to, to Japan. So he has Japanese heritage, so that could actually happen. So we are gonna move on from a, a big gun here, and we are, we are gonna we are gonna go down a bit here. So number twenty on the list, guys, Joel Edejo, and this one is a golden nugget for you guys because he is a sixteen-year-old Dutch right winger, and he will move from Willems Twe to Ajax under eighteen, and he is one to watch. That's why I put him in. He is one to watch. Remember the name Joel Edejo. Ajax are beefing up their academy. That's the thing. They're beefing up their academy to create the next big star to sell on. It's a factory. It's a money-making thing. It's a business. So you can't be mad at Ajax at all. You can't be mad at Ajax. They, they got to the Champions League semifinal with, with a bunch of these guys. 21. Another one for you guys. Avery Appiah. 104K. He has moved from... Feyenoord youth to Ajax youth. He is Dutch and Ghanaian. He's only 14 years old. He's a defensive midfielder and he is one to watch. Joel Edejo, his price was 56k. So Ajax is spending some, you know, basically chump change on these guys and eventually they're selling for millions. That's the beauty about it. It's called investing in youth, bringing them in the academy and selling them on later. It's a factory. 22, Pablo Zabaleta, guys. West Ham, he will be without a club. Don't know if he's going to go back to Argentina to play. Don't know where he's going to go next. Maybe China, the MLS. We, we don't know. We don't know. Maybe he'll retire. I don't know yet, but in a future video, if he does move, I will definitely talk about that. He had 58 caps for Argentina. He's a 35-year-old right back. He represented West Ham from 2017 to 2020. And I bet he did not have a nice time there because West Ham are in trouble this season. So he moved from Espanyol in La Liga to Manchester City in 2008. Spent nine, nine years at the club. And maybe he'll retire with his former Argentinian club, San Lorenzo. He is definitely a Manchester City legend. Definitely an Argentine legend. And I wish Pablo Zabaleta all the best in his future endeavors next up guys we have Jurgen Dam, a 27 year old mexican right winger he has represented mexico 12 times he will move from tigress to unknown we don't know yet but there's been rumors that he might move to germany he has german background hence why he is named Jurgen. he played for tigress from 2015 to 2020 and it would be nice to see him play in Germany, though. You know what I mean? Like, he might fit a lower table German club. But I think I've heard him being linked to Hoffenheim. But we, we have to wait and see how that one works out. So, guys, the big one, the big one, the big one, the big one, the most current one. And I think the second biggest one on the list, Mauro Icardi, 27-year-old Argentinian striker, has joined PSG. On a permanent basis, he was there alone. The sum is 50 million euros. And he has, he has still commanded a big fee. In these times, a big fee. But maybe while he was at Inter, he would have cost close to 100 million euros. Because he was ripping it up for Inter, but they fell out of favor. You know, his wife, his agent, Wanda Nara, Icardi. Caught up in a lot of scandals and stuff like that. And I wish him all the best. He played for Inter from 2013 to 2020. He was an Inter player from 2013 to 2020. And he is now a PSG player. So you know what that means, guys. Edinson Cavani is definitely out the door. Veteran Uruguayan striker. So guys, look out for that in the in a future video. Edinson Cavani moving to another club. Maybe to Inter Milan. Maybe. You never know. You never know. But Murray Cardi, man, 31 matches played for PSG. 20 goals, 4 assists. Not a bad return 
on PSG's um, for PSG and the investment in Mauro Cardi. I think he's going to score a lot of goals in league, huh? Perfect league for him. But guys, look out for trouble in the future. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you this one time. Look out for trouble in the future. This, this guy, this guy can't stay quiet for too long, and he might just get bored playing in league, huh? So he's 27 years old right now. Expect him to be at Bayern Munich or one of those clubs when he's 29. Or maybe next season, you know, the 2021-22 season. <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed with that one. But all the best to PSG and all the best to Mauro Icardi. 25 guys, Giannis Haji, the son of Georgie Haji. He is moving from Genk to Rangers on a permanent basis for 3.5 million euros. He was there on loan and they loved him. He's a 21-year-old Romanian international central attacking midfielder. He was born in Turkey. Rangers activated the option to buy and they have been blessed with a very, very talented young player. So that's Ianis Haji. So guys, the bonus, the bonus, the golden nugget that I promised you at the beginning of the video, if you're still here, and that is Emilio Estevez, guys. He is moving from York 9 FC to Adu Den Haag in the Netherlands League, the Dutch Eredivisie. And Adu Den Haag was in a lot of trouble last season. They brought in Alan Pardu, and then they canceled the Dutch League, so... They didn't get relegated, so they would be in the Eredivisie in the top flight next season. So the interesting thing about this transfer, guys, why I left it for, for last and I put it in for as a bonus. This deal only cost Adu Den Haag 66k. 66k. You hearing it right? 66,000 euros. He's a 21-year-old central attacking midfielder. He is... Chinese Taipei and Spanish. He plays for the Chinese Taipei national team. Three caps to be exact. And I think he's already cap tied. So you will be seeing him for Chinese Taipei for some seasons to come. Chinese Taipei is better known, well, is better known as Taiwan. If you if you don't know what Chinese Taipei is, a country called Taiwan. And the fun thing about this transfer, guys, is he is a first Canadian Premier League player to transfer to a European top flight league. So all the best to Emilio Estevez, named after the popular actor. And I hope he is a success story. And we will see a lot more players from the Canadian Premier League joining European top flight clubs. So, guys, that's a wrap. 23 minutes, not bad. 25, 26 players under 23 minutes, not bad at all. So, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to slap a like on the video. And if there's any transfer you would like to like me to talk about, leave it in the comment section down below. Guys, don't forget to check out cardsplug.com slash DominicRichFC. Use the coupon code DominicRichFC to get yourself 15% off your orders. All the links would be in the description box down below. From your boy Dominic Rich, until my next video, thanks for watching. Peace out, Rich Squad.